wake up, seek answers on high. Who defies death neath every sky? Oh, I messed up my mission. Go find something to sober me up. Oh, oh, how refreshing. You woke me up. Thanks. <laughs> Enough with the chit chat. My belly's growling. <laughs> I must quench this rumbling in my belly first. The Temple of Crouching Tiger, they say there's meat there. Worth a look. The feast first, then the toil. Hunger brings no spoils. You should eat more, skinny. Off we go, to the Temple of Crouching Tiger. I must quench the Temple of Crouching This putrid rat meat is insufferable. 
Help me score a tasty treat, will you? Uh, drive me mad. I've been craving a taste of that juicy jade lotus. Can you find me some in this barren land? Oh, I wouldn't mind some meatless meals from time to time. Hmm, I have stumbled upon some interesting leads. The realm of gold does hold a connection to this desolate land. I hear the realm of gold is where the sun sets. There, they held rats above all others. Hmm. And somehow, before we knew it, the realm was gone. Quite odd, that is. Hmm. I just tried those rat guys. They taste like men flesh. Hmm. Its people are not yet extinct. I suspect the yellow wind guai had a role in their downfall. Our senior brother gave me a piece of gold. I'll need it here when the time's right, he said. It's the right time now. I'm taking it to the right place to give it a try. Hmm. I just tried those rat guai. It's people on a senior bro. It's the right time now. <laughs> this is good. You and I should explore that realm together. I...
Men in our time do not see the ancient moon, but this moon hath shone on men of yore. Behold! Be it the realm of sunset or the realm of gold, it's but an echo of the past. Legends speak of an ancient, colossal beetle in these sands. Whilst deep in slumber, it lay hidden beneath the Earth's embrace. When awakened, it would devour all souls that crossed its path. Its shell, harder than stone, defied the strikes of common arms. It struck fear into traveling merchants and wider to neighboring realms. But a yellow-furred rat sensed the immense power emanating from the insect. He halted the beetle's havoc and harnessed it for his own ends. Overjoyed, the king named the rat Gwai, the royal sage, and built a shrine in his honor. The bound beetle was a perfect source of power, so the rat stayed. He seized the Tongue Monk using the new power, and battles with Soon Wukong upon the Yellow Wind Ridge. The Gwai's formidable wings veiled the vast expanse of the sky. Were it not for Bodhisattva Lingji, Tongue Monk's quest for the scriptures would have failed. Yet, stripped of the rat's protection, the kingdom was plunged into a state of ruin. The once lush Yellow Wind Ridge now lies a desolate wasteland. Uh, uh, uh. You, traveler, back to where you belong, or meet your end here. I am the vanguard of the Yellow Wind King. I patrol this land by royal decree. A Yaogwai lurks in these sands, a scourge to the common folk. Our king seeks to subdue it. Commoners must not intrude. You scorn my words? How have you served to the gates, Jenna?
fierce staff work. You wield grand might. <laughs> Brave soul, why not use this might to aid my king's good deed? Our king comes from Mount Lingshan. His kind heart seeks to end the place's suffering. The Yao Guai's skills run deep, and with your help, our chances will be doubled. The king is just ahead. With my meager skills, I cannot join you. Please, go aid him quickly. Truth be known, being a father of two little ones, my life is not mine to give. Worry not, the Yellowwing King is a noble disciple from Mount Ling Shan. Go and meet him. A good karma awaits you there.
you bested my vanguard. <laughs> then you do indeed have skills. That Yao Guai must have some vessel that counters me. Even my Samadhi wind can't hurt it. <sighs> there is only one way to draw out this Yao Guai. I'll sound the drums and it'll come forth. If you are willing, I ask you to seize its vessel at the right time. Then, the Yao Guai will be mine. an end of the world. Each day, the sun sets and boils the sea. The boiling hiss is sharp enough to ravage babies in their cradles. The people sound drums to counter the impact, but the drums draw this Yao Guai. The vessel this Yao Guai holds protects it from me. Your boldness in venturing here is clear. Aid me with this. It's right here, beneath us in the sands. Together, we shall rid the people of this wretched Yao Guai.
Folks behalf, I thank you.
will never forgive! So be it! Just for a short reign over this barren valley. Sattva Lingji of New Mount Sumeru, the warden of this rat. After the great sage's passing, his six senses were scattered across the mortal realm. This thieving rat chanced upon one of them, yet hindered by his meager might, he could not absorb its power. Thus he schemed with wicked intent, a victim of his deceit. I had my head taken by him. A sense requires such a grand container to release its power. I should bear the blame for his reign of havoc upon this ridge again. <sighs> Through your valor and sagacity, order has been restored. You are the sole worthy one to keep it. Please, keep it secure in my stead.
要下了，这就一怪来。Men, beasts, Buddhas, 妖怪。Each of them bears a distinct root from birth, superior and inferior. None should disturb what's decided. Am I right, Sun Wukong? With the wind and sand you've endured here. Did you reach the forgotten kingdom at the end of the land? Did you find the clash of stones and the fall of Tiger's acolyte? If you shut your ears and heed only your inner murmur, I fear the more you yearn for flawless endings, the further you'll stray from the path. Rats and cats, neither grasped their destiny, and yet neither admitted it. Listen closely, young one. Their complaints ride upon the wind. <laughs>